hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of aquarius so if you have aquarius anywhere in your birth chart this video may resonate with you so don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe okay so let's see what's going on for aquarius spirit guys above night and test is the cinema masters my angel of power and light please protect this deck from any negative energies But it's going to be like a, sh you know, straight to the point, short reading because I have somewhere to go. Okay. And I just feel like you want another reading. But you guys, so let's see what's going on for Aquarius for my collective. Please allow me to receive clear and concise messages from my collective. Thank you guys for all the positive comments on my last video. I really appreciate it. Okay. Don't just shuffle. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Please don't let these cards fall off the table because I don't have time. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. So it can be connected to a Taurus. What else? The Five of Swords. It can be connected to a Libra. Okay, what else? Or another Aquarius like yourself. We got the Knight of Cups. You can be connected to a Pisces and the Seven of Pentacles. You can be connected to a Virgo. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is that this could be you, Aquarius, because we got the Five of Swords here. I'm really seeing that you are in your head a lot about something that you need to get rid of, let it go. Okay. The past is the past. But you got some self-sabotaging thoughts here. That's really like keeping you stagnant or some type of mindset that you need to release or beliefs that you need to get rid of it could be a person that you're still dealing with that's caused you to have these negative thoughts or it could be friends family members But with the Knight of Pentacles here, I'm seeing here, it's a commitment coming in towards you. Okay. And I'm seeing here, something is taking long than what you expected. Because it's you that need to release something here. You need to surrender. I don't know if you're either going tit for tat with somebody here or you're trying to get some type of revenge on somebody here because they were deceptive. They were being sneaky towards you, trying to win at all cost here. Like you feel played with, you, you could be angry and upset. I'm also seeing here that you guys could be like working as well. Working extremely hard right now. Okay, to get your mind off a situation here. But it's like when you get time to, you know, be alone and relax. It's like you think about what somebody did to you, you know. And it's like you haven't healed from it or you, you know, it just really like traumatized you. Like somebody here really like hurt you, betrayed you. And it's like you was literally like giving your all to this person. Really trying to work hard and fix the connection and compromise and love this person and show them that you're loyal and it's like somebody here played in your face it's like it was unbalanced you was overgiven in a situation here and i feel like you are exhausted okay and we got the knight of cups here so some of y'all y'all could be either flirting dating okay mingling right now but it's like i feel like you're doing that to avoid something here that you need to heal yeah so make sure you are getting rid of these negative thoughts here these negative patterns like i feel like somebody here projected a lot onto you this person okay and it's like you either either picked up some of their like negative toxic ways and you need to really look and see like what have you picked up that they did towards you that you know that you didn't do before you met this person Okay, because I'm saying you're going to either bring that into a new connection. Because I'm saying somebody here that want to flirt with you. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, and invest their time and energy, all that into you. So don't mess this up. Because I'm seeing here it could be a possibility that you mess something up. That happens every blue moon. 
Okay, we have a Three of Cups in reverse. Okay. And some of y'all, it's like, y'all need to go out. Y'all need to have fun. Y'all could just be working and shit like that. Like, go out, celebrate, have fun. Okay. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles here. It's like you're just so focused on work, 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 work. Money, money, money. For whatever reason, I don't know. But you could be materialistic. King of Swords, this person that you was dealing with, see, that could have be a habit that you picked up on somebody. Somebody here that you was dealing with was very materialistic here. They made it seem like money was, you know, everything. And it's like, you picked that up. You feel me? And it's like, you're not even going out and, you know, enjoying yourself, living life, traveling. You got the King of Swords here. Yeah, this person that did you bogus you I feel like you probably didn't get like the proper closure that you needed from the situation. It's like this person just did you bogus and left you for dead, you know, and it was very hard for you to move forward because you were just like, you just wanted answers, you know. And I feel like you really invested a lot of your time, money into this person, you know, and you probably didn't realize that you was getting bread from here because you was like, you was in love, you know, love making you do some crazy things, okay? And we have the world card here. Yeah, something came to an end, a completion here. Because this person with the king of swords, I feel like they could have ghosted you or they could have detached themselves from you or some shit like that. Or this is what you did to this person here. Okay, and it's like you... What else? I feel like it was something that you want to tell this person, but you didn't tell this person. You just probably ghosted them for some of y'all because it's just like... You were so heartbroken here. And you realized what this person was doing, you know, and how they was using you and, you know, just wasting your time, basically. And I feel like you probably want to get something off your chest, but you didn't say it. So I feel like something that you're learning as well is speak your mind, so, you know, make sure you have boundaries. Because I'm seeing you probably didn't have boundaries. Okay, you allowed this person to walk all over you. What I'm saying is like when you probably either try to communicate and talk to this person, let this person know how you were feeling about the connection and shit like that. It's like they probably over talked you or said something, you know, nasty to you or raised a voice at you to the point where it's like you didn't speak up. And it's like you had a lot of shit to get off your chest when it came to this person, you know, and we got the two of wands in reverse. Yeah, I'm saying you're going towards a new passionate beginning and you're accepting, you know, how everything played out. It's like, you know, it is what it is. That's um, my mom in the background. We got the Six of Cups. I just told her I was doing a reading. My niece is here, so you know how kids is. She's two years old, so she still be, you know, bad. But we got the Seven of Wands here. Yeah, I'm seeing here is that somebody here wants to come back from your past. They miss you. Okay. This could have been somebody here that you had a child with. It's like you had more ambition and drive than this person, I feel like. I feel like somebody here was tricking you. They had like trickster energy here. And it's like you either feel mad at yourself that you probably need to forgive yourself and you need to forgive this person. Okay, because I'm saying you got some type of resentment or grudge against this person still. Because I've had a Six of Cups. Or I'm just seeing here, it's like somebody here wants to return to you. Okay, King of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody here that you had a child with. Five of Six of Cups. And we got the Page of Pentacles here. Yeah, it's like this person, they don't have nothing. Nothing to offer you. But some, some good loving. And they're going to lie. Somebody here is going to lie and say like, oh, like... I miss you. I love you. Like, can you please forgive me? Can I come back and shit like that? And I feel like you're going to be guarded towards this person. You're going to be defensive towards this person. You feel me? And I feel like with the two of wands, I mean, I'm not the, I'm tweaking. With the ace of wands here, I'm seeing that this person is like they think with their wand. You feel me? So please be careful. I feel like you should be guarded towards this person. Like, get the fuck back. Clarify the four of wands. 
But somebody here is trying to fuck up what you got coming in towards you. Somebody here know that you have something beautiful coming in towards you because you wasn't the one that was in the wrong in that situation. You feel me? Go for the four of wands. So it's like somebody here is trying to come in and fuck up what's destined is coming in for you. And I feel like you're not going to allow that. Yeah, you're about to experience peace, celebration, harmony, marriage. You feel me? And somebody here is going to be pissed off and mad. Yeah, this person is very manipulative as well. And they move strategically here to get what they want. Yeah, now the pentacles here. I'm seeing right now you're independent. You're luxurious. Yeah, you have Ace of Cups coming, period. A new love coming towards you. Because this is what you deserve, period. Period. What is this? Yeah, I had a um, call coming in, my bad. But, yeah, period. And they're going to see it through your swords. Yeah, and this person, they're going to be heartbroken. They're going to be bitter. I feel like they already like that, to be honest. It's, they're just going to be more bitter. This person feels, like, obligated or some shit to have, like, access to you. Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person is a player. Like, go fuck with these other options here. That you was entertaining. Staying in an illusion. That you're slow ass. What else? This person, they're going to be always wishing and hoping like. Praying that they get you back, but it's never going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to be living happily ever after. Okay. With your person gonna be love support there no cheating no addictions none of that nasty unhealthy ass shit this person is just gonna be wishing hoping that they could get their family back or you know coulda woulda shoulda yeah you're gonna be being treated right you're gonna have good karma coming in while this person is going through bad karma and their bad karma is gonna be all these people that they chose over you for whatever reason to get a nut whatever these people are going to be using this person. This person, it's like whoever they're dealing with, all these other people, that's not the, who they're destined to be with. But since somebody was so focused on these other options and being in the streets, go, go. Flee. Okay? Flee. This person, they're going to get served karma so bad that they're going to want to come and apologize to you and worship you they know why they're going to get their karma they're going to be like oh yeah they fuck with the wrong one six of swords <sighs> yep and i'm seeing here whatever struggles that you still got going on regarding this past connection you're going to overcome it six of swords here yeah you're going to take the slip of faith towards this new beginning here you're not going to allow this past situation to hold you back. But in the beginning, it's like it's going to be hard for you. You know, take your time. Don't be hard on yourself. You feel me? We got the Magician in reverse. And we got the Ace of Swords. I really get like somebody here is going to try to stop you before you get... As soon as you get near to meeting this new person, they're going to try to stop you to keep you stuck. Dang man. Mm -hmm. This person, they feel like they're going to have to come in and tell you some type of truth here with the issue source here. But this person, it's like they're going to lie to you or they're going to tell you like half truth or something. And you're already going to know the truth. You already know the truth. That's why you moved away from this person. But this person, they're going to try to manipulate the situation with the magician in reverse. Thinking they're being smart and clever. But you're going to know. Yep. Judge me, yeah, you're gonna make that decision here. You're gonna tell this person, like, you know, it's I don't want you. You feel me? Like it's it's done, it's over, it's a wrap. I feel like y'all gonna either have a conversation with this person because it's some shit that you need to get off your chest that you probably didn't get off your chest. And right before you take the sleep of faith, it's like something here that you're gonna like have the opportunity to get off your chest when it comes to this person in this situation here. Two of Cups in reverse, which is the Ace of Cups. They're going to make a decision to go towards new love. Yep.
Mm-hmm. We got the two of swords here. And we got the ace of cups. Period. Yeah, somebody here is going to try to cause some type of confusion. You know, try to manipulate the situation. You know, just try to say certain shit to make you be like, reconsider uh, some, some some type of decision and going towards this new person this new connection but you're going to you're not going to listen to the yes with the ace of cups here that's about intuition and you know you're going to follow it you know the truth queen of wands here what else yeah i feel like you are in your you like right now queen of wands here it's like you're in your zone right now like you're you in your power like you're very powerful right now you're very confident you're very courageous you're taking you know how did i say it right <laughs> i always mess up when i'm gonna say something it's like you are like being assertive right now like you're taking charge of your life you're not allowing nobody to make no decisions for you or try to put their two cents in and make you make another decision like no you know what you know and you're gonna trust in yourself and make that decision Somebody here probably thought that she was gullible or you was easy to manipulate here because they played with you in the past, but they don't know the new you. You feel me? They don't know. And they sure don't know that you got these intuitive gifts and that you're spiritual and you see shit that this person don't see. But they 3D ass. What else? Somebody like, damn, like, I thought I had it in the bag. Bitch, you don't. You don't. I, I got it in the bag. Nine of Pentacles. For real, for real. What else? Page of Swords. And this person is going to be watching you. Like, what ex of yours don't watch you if you got social media? They're going to be watching you, Nine of Swords. But the Nine of Swords came out of struggle position. So they're always going to struggle to like come towards you or communicate something. Like, one minute they're going to be like, I'm finna go back and try to talk to them and try to manipulate them. And they're like, nah, I can't do that. Like, this person, they don't even trust them, them fucking selves. So, it's like, they're not even on your level. Deuces, peace. Just keep watching. And I feel like they're going to be blocked from either communicating with you. Because you're going to let it be known. Like, there's nothing else to talk about, baby. It's it's over with. It's done. You know? But, I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.